If I open my leg, my guard, doesn't mean he passed my guard. But if he's putting his elbows in that hurts me every day, I would try to open. I would try hours if I know he does that, work around his elbows to avoid. One thing you can do easily is just hold the head. Once I hold the head, very hard, can you put your elbow there, Jim? I can easily control his arm. And if he brings his arm too much in, I can jump over. Notice that I move, I hold the head, and I move his elbow in. Now the elbow is in, I can lock over his arm. No more elbow. One, two. As soon as he goes and starts putting the elbow there, and that hurts, I'm going to open my leg, but at the same time, as I start putting pressure, I open and I turn to the side. Side. And close the distance. Now I can mount. Back. Entry here. I can go inside his arm. Control the one arm now. I'm going to be fighting that arm in. Good. To go across. Whenever he bends no gi, his arms on me, you can work on his wrist inside. I'm going in. And I move my shoulder. Now it's no more elbow. I need to move my hip. And another thing, as soon as he start putting the elbow there, I don't know what his next movement will be. I open my leg. I'm just waiting for him to do whatever he wants. My goal is to bring my foot on his chest. Okay, now I push. Go after him. Um, not that the opponent is mean or anything, just this is one way, not very nice, but nothing wrong with that, to use the elbow. If you use the elbow, move my hip, as soon as you move his arm out, my leg comes in. And I just put on the chest. And don't worry, if I can initiate the elbows in, cross my legs a little higher, and hold the head. Now he can't use the elbow. Start working the, the hands over his arm. Different game here. He can't use the elbow. But if I stay, let him get here, now he's going to use the elbow. You can always move your hip. Move this way, go inside, go outside, turn. He has no angle. Two. As soon as he starts putting that, I don't know if, he, if he's going to move back. If he moves away from me now, push it and follow him. But one easy way is just bring the head down, good, go over. He can't use the elbow anymore. It's the space. I just want to make sure I can raise my leg a little. And to be able to do that, I hold his head. If he raises his head too hard, over him. 